Hi everyone and welcome to the LARP Guide. In this video I'm going to share with you my top 10 ways to become a safer LARPer. I think it's worth saying though that this video will only be scratching the surface on many of these topics and so I'm planning to go into more detail on some of these in future videos. If you do end up enjoying this video, then please consider becoming a subscriber. And if you have any of your own essential LARP tips for the community, please don't be afraid to pop them in the comments below. Okay, let's get into it. Number 10, information is key. The first thing you can do before attending a LARP is making sure that the organizers are aware of any of your health conditions that could affect you or others during the event. Some events do request this information, but that may not always be the case. In that situation, it is down to you to disclose this information and make sure that the event can support you if a worst case scenario was to happen. I would also recommend keeping on your person instructions and medications for how a first aider could assist you if a worst case scenario was to take place. I have in the past kept a small bag in my pocket with emergency contact information, things like my name, my address, a list of my allergies and any medical information that could be relevant. It all fitted on an A4 piece of paper that I folded up and placed in a bag marked personal medical information. I've never had to use this, but it could one day help me out if I was attending an event alone and for some reason I was unable to divulge this information. Number nine, bring it if you think you may need it. When packing for an event, if you have any items that are key to your well-being and health, it's 100% worth making a list and ticking them off as you place them in your bag or plastic storage box. There's nothing worse than arriving at the event and then realizing you've forgotten a key item. But this feeling of dread is multiplied if it's something that you need to keep yourself safe and healthy. It's also worth packing things that could be of use if something was to go wrong. Most LARP events don't have an easy reach convenience store or pharmacy. I always pack ibuprofen, paracetamol, Tums, plasters, medical wraps, and diarylite. As these items have in the past been needed, and I haven't had them with me. It's also worth saying that some events do have first aiders at hand that may be able to supply you with these in a pinch. Number eight, know your limits. As a word of thumb, it is not okay to get completely wasted at a LARP event. Granted, most of us have a drink or two, but staggering back to your tent on a cold night in the dark is asking for issues. What I mean by this is being unable to find your tent and ending up sleeping on the ground. I can't emphasize enough how dangerous this is, but also how surprisingly common it is. Some events have members of the medical team and security walk around the campsite checking for just this event and then helping find these people their tent or putting them up someplace warm for the night. But to be honest, please do yourself and others a favor. Have fun, enjoy a drink, but keep getting completely bladdered when you're at home. Plus, unlike when you're at home with, you know, nice paths and flat streets, LARP events are filled with potholes, muddy ditches and guy ropes which of course when you're drunk you fall over and land on me in the middle of the night number seven safe kit it's a hundred percent down to you to make sure your weapons armor and clothing that you're taking onto the larp field are safe you may be requested to carry out or participate in what is called a weapons check but this is your last line of defense and not your first I'll go into more detail in the future for things to look out for and how to carry out a basic check at home. But if your sword is falling apart or your armor is rusted with jagged edges, it's safe to say you should probably just leave that at home. What you must remember is the person on the receiving end of your faulty gear is who will have their event and in some horrible occasions life ruined by your actions, or in most cases, inaction. If you are unsure on something, just highlight it at the event 
to a, an organizer or a member of the safety team. They will be more than happy to talk over things with you. Plus, in most cases, can give you some amazing advice on how to get that thing fixed. Number six, don't walk in the middle of the road. Okay, hear me out on this one. During the first day of an event, and the last vehicle movements along the muddy paths that make up the roads at an event can become very busy. The roads are often, depending on the weather at the event, incredibly dusty or incredibly slippery. And most LARPers, believe it or not, are not skilled off-road drivers. So when you combine poor visibility and slippery conditions with poor driving off-road skills and having someone appear in the middle of the road, it can be very stressful and highly dangerous. Please consider walking along the side of the road and not along the middle as you're trying to avoid those ruts. It may seem less hazardous to you, but trust me on this, you are putting yourself at massive risk. Granted, Vehicles should not be moving that fast at an event, but it's just not worth taking that risk. Number five, drink water, eat some food. I can't believe how many people at a LARP event get heat exhaustion. I have personally suffered from it three times. Granted, this was down to the fact that I was wearing heavy armor or a big furry costume and then decided that a cup of coffee was all I needed before I headed out to the battlefield. And talking about battlefields, it's very common for people just to have that kind of sip of water before they go out and then they spend the next you know, couple of hours running around having a fight and then all of a sudden they find themselves getting heavily dehydrated and then of course suffering from heat exhaustion as well. So I would strongly recommend making a water skin or some other water carrying item a part of your costume. The same goes for, for like food and more importantly, salt. Grab, for example, a packet of salted peanuts and just put them in your pocket, ready to have a munch on when you get a break during a battle or when you're just walking around the LARP field, as this will help replenish your salts and also, you know, keep your energy levels up. But even if you're not, you know, LARP fighting, just make sure you're drinking plenty and eating well. You know, make sure you have water at a LARP and make sure when you're having food, it's not just all fatty and greasy. Try to get that healthy balance. For more information on this, check out my Food at a LARP video to see what possible options are available to you. Number four, it's perfectly fine to rest. It's perfectly fine to take a break at an event. Never feel like you must do something. Your health and happiness must come first. If you're feeling unwell or tired, just let someone know and take yourself out of the game for a bit. I personally love to, at a hot event, find a nice shady tree on the side of the field and have a nap. Nothing beats a LARP nap, trust me. It's important that you look after yourself. It's very easy to get caught up in the whirlwind of amazing things that are going on around you and then pushing yourself to keep a part of it all. But getting yourself burnt out and becoming sick after the first day won't make your event amazing. Having that nice nap will. Number three, be prepared. Check the weather before going to an event and then pack to suit what you may encounter. I must emphasize the word may here. Pack for hot, cold, and wet. Make sure you have plenty of socks and spare underlayers. Pack some extra tent pegs. Um, in a nutshell, be prepared for what you think could happen. And if it does happen, you can then deal with it. Plus, if it doesn't, it's no odds. You can just leave that stuff in the car out of the way. I am planning on covering some LARP essentials in a later video that could help you be more prepared for your next LARP event. Number two, treat your feet. I can't stress how important good footwear is at a LARP. Some nice ankle support and some good cushioned soles can make a massive difference to your enjoyment. 
there is nothing worse than coming back to your tent after your first day covered in blisters due to you using poor or uncomfortable footwear. This is one of my biggest investments in my LARP kit. I purchased a good pair of hiking boots with some spare insoles and laces. And this is due to I can remember my first LARP event where I went in a pair of Reebok trainers and then was in so much pain come the Sunday morning. Also, no matter how smelly your footwear gets, don't leave them outside your tent. You only wake up to soaking wet boots once before you start to put them in your tent. Save yourself the hassle and maybe invest in some boot spray or a bag. Also, as we're on the subject of looking after your feet, invest in some good socks for the event. Good boots and socks combined is a surefire way to having a great LARP event. Before we go into my top way to be a safer laugher, if you've enjoyed this video, then please consider becoming a subscriber and sharing this video within your LARP community. Number one, look out for each other. So the top thing you can do to keep yourself safe at a LARP event is to look after the people around you. Because if everybody's doing that, then everybody's going to be safe. So if you see someone who's going rosy in the cheek because they've caught the sun, point it out. Offer some suntan lotion. If you feel dehydrated or you're starting to feel a little bit of exhaustion, then instead of just go in and get yourself a drink, maybe offer it to everybody else as well. You know, if you're going to get some food, hey, does anybody else want to come with me and get some food? These little reminders could really help save someone's event. So that's it. Basically, be kind, look after the people around you, as well as looking after yourself. That's my number one tip for keeping yourself safe at a LARP. So that covers my top 10 ways to becoming a safer LARPer. I hope you have found this video useful. I love you all and goodbye. <laughs>